Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code. This is part three of our Creating a Connect 4 game tutorial series. And in this video, we'll be adding the horizontal and vertical win conditions. Because as you can see here, users are still able to play after one player has clearly won. And so we'll be fixing that in this video. So let's get started. So first thing we're gonna do is in the isValid function, say if winner is not equal to zero then return false what this does is it makes us so that none of the cells are valid after a player has won so it basically ends the game and then next above we'll say if check win player so if that is true, then alert colors player has one. And then we'll set the winner to the current player. So what this does is it checks the winner. Um, we'll, we'll be creating this function next. It checks if the current player has won, and then it alerts that that player has won, and it sets the winner to that player so that no one else is able to play the game after. So now let's actually create the function. So down here we'll say function check win, and then we'll have one parameter, p. And so first we'll set var chain to zero and this here is for the rows so first we're going to be checking all the rows and then next we're going to be checking all the columns so let's create a for loop so for var i equals zero i is less than 42 i plus equals 7 so this will iterate through each row and then within this we'll say 4 bar j is equal to 0 j is less than 7 j plus plus this will iterate through each cell within each row then var cell is equal to hash plus i plus j. So this sets the current cell. And then we can say if cell dot attr for attribute data player is equal to p then chain plus plus and then else chain equals zero so what this does is it checks to see if the current cell is the same color as the color that we're checking to see if it won and if it is then the then the chain um, the chain will increase by one and if it's not then the chain will be set back to zero so then we'll say down here if chain is greater than or equal to four then we'll return true and then at the end of the inner for loop We'll set the chain back to zero so it resets after each row. And then below the for loop, we'll return false. And so that's all we need to check the rows. So now let's move on to checking the columns. So we'll set chain back to zero. And then we'll say, for var i equals zero 
i is less than 7, i plus plus, and then for var j is equal to 0, j is less than 42, j plus equals 7. And so this for loop is basically an inverted version of the one we just created. Um, so it goes to the columns instead of the rows. We'll say a var cell is equal to hash plus i plus j. And then if cell dot attr data player is equal to p then chain will increase by one and then else chain will be set back to zero and then just like before we'll say if chain is greater than or equal to four then we return true and then set chain back to zero at the end of the inner for loop all right so now let's test how it works red has one we can try playing again as we as you can see we're not able to because none of the cells are valid now that a player has one we can try for we can try for the columns or we can try for the rows now red has one all right perfect so if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe in the next one we will be setting diagonals um, that's a little more involved so that's why i didn't add it to this video but if you have any questions, do not hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.